morning you guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be starting to prepare my upcoming uh, science unit for our homeschool year now that we've moved into our new house and feel settled it's time to start preparing for our upcoming homeschool year so i get a lot of questions on how i prepare the science units from the good and the beautiful so i'm going to show you step by step how i like to do that um, and of course, this is just my personal preference, but if you're wondering how I set them up, then I'm going to take you through that in this video. Step one for me in setting up my uh, science units is to take the package I received from the Good and the Beautiful, which is just in plastic uh, wrap, and take it to Office Max or Office Depot and have it spiral bound. I really like doing this. It preserves the curriculum and I just like how it looks. It's about $5 in my area. It could be different in yours. Um, but what I do before I get to Office Max is I go through the unit and I pull out anything that my kids are going to need to write on, any vocabulary words or books I need to create, anything I need to cut out, and I take those out. So all that's being spiral bound is going to stay in here. So these are just the actual like lessons and things um, staying in the spiral bind. Now ideally you would want to... Um, have this done before you get it spiral bound so that way if you have multiple kids you can go ahead and make your photocopies at the same time but I could not wait on the day that I had this done to get these copies made so I'm gonna head back now and make my photocopies for all four of my kids um, but the the unit is already spiral bound and everything that I need uh, like I said, is in here. The mini, the books to read, all the different vocabulary words, etc. So that is step one in how I prepare my units. So the next thing that I do when I'm preparing my science units, it, after I've made my photocopies, I go ahead and come home and I sort them out into piles of four. And then I place them in each of my kids' binders, which I did a whole video on this. Um, they have a science, her binder's upside down, but they have a science folder right here where they keep all of their science related sheets for um, whatever science unit we're working on. So I've got my unit all ready to go. I made my photocopies for each of my kids. So I'm gonna sort those out. I already have my vocabulary words cut out um, because that was something I did before I went and took my unit in. And then the very last thing that you're gonna need to do is gather your supplies for the unit. Thanks to uh, Toolboxes for Teaching, I already have the marine biology supplies. Um, otherwise, you would want to make a list and go through your house first because a lot of the items are going to be found um, lying around your home and then you might want to take a trip to the dollar store or Walmart. I personally like to have all of the things I need for the unit in a box or a bin like this um, so that way I'm not having to like look ahead at the week I just like to get it all in one shot so that is everything for preparing for a science unit for the good and the beautiful I do the same process for every unit that we do and it works out really really well um, it really is that simple and only takes you know a couple of hours to get prepared for your upcoming school year so I hope this helps you see how I prepare for my science units if you have any questions for me post them down in the comments below and be sure to give me a thumbs up before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon.